and welcome back potential Pokemon Masters to Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby Nuzlocke. So, did a little bit of grinding off screen, um, so we'll go over the team just before we go to battle. I also bought like a whole bunch of full stores and stuff. Um, so we have Gucci, um, our Dust Talks, whose stats are... Eh, you got good special defense, right, okay, so that's something. Um, Wally who I totally even forgot that's the name of the rival on this when I called him that, but there you go. Um, so he's evolved into a well lord. He's only level 43, he's probably not going to get used. Um, but he leveled up as well. I turned the experience share on when I was grinding. Sorry guys, but I mean, it's grinding. Come on, give me a break. Um, Ten Terrafu is also here just to make up the numbers. Um, their special defense is like the same as Dust Toxies. So like... And they're faster, so I mean, just got that going for her. Um, we have Burkhart, our other crawdon, since um, Juliet Eve went down. Um, only level 44, probably not going to get used, but again, making up the numbers. Uh, we have Harry the Vileplume, level 54, and we have Gohan the Gyarados, also level 54, and I also got the Gyaradosite, so... We've got that going for us guys, we've got we've got that going for us. It also has Ice Fang which will help, um, and Dazzling Gleam. Um, and on that note, I believe it's time for us to begin our Elite Four Challenge. Only trainers have collected all eight gym badges and we've gone beyond this point even though like we've got giant waterfalls here so you... Anyway, please permit us to evaluate your worthiness trainer. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. You heard doors closing. Is that like sand or I can't even tell what this is meant to be. Grass? Seeds? It doesn't make much sense, but I remember correctly, they're a dark type trainer, aren't they? Welcome, Challenger. I'm Sydney of the Elite Four. I like that. I like that look you're giving me. I guess you'll give me a good match. That's good. Looking real good. Alright, let's get down to the kind of battle that can happen only here in the Pokemon League. Versus Elite Four Sydney. I mean, red. Is he just gonna spam sucker punch? Uh, I'm okay with that. Sucker Punch has, what, five power points? Oh, I should have used, like, the power point ups, the power point max now. How much damage is that going to do? Not enough. And now it uses Sucker Punch again. Please love. Yep. Plenty of full restores here. I want you to just cure the confusion and get back up. Shifri's probably not going to have much that's really going to damage. 
Yeah, fake out. Soul, but that's not gonna last long to bug buzz who again i always say this but who would have thought elite four solo well one member's elite four solo by dust talks okay sharpedo can be quite fast so we'll see uh, yeah that like, speed's really pretty and advantage Well, how'd you like that? I lost, huh? It was fun, so it doesn't matter. Well, listen to what this loser has to say. You've got what it takes to go a long way. Go to the next room and challenge your next battle. So the next one, if I remember correctly, is... Ghost type? Um... So I guess Gohan will be best here, um, because it's got crunch. Nope, there's ghosts. Whee! It really makes a bit more sense than whatever that mysterious substance was before. Like, at least this looks a little haunting. Ha <laughs> I'm Phoebe of the Elite Four. I did my training on Manpire. While I trained there, I gained the ability to commune with ghost-type Pokemon. I, the bond I developed with my Pokemon is extremely tight. Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Oh, that's a weird effect. Transform! Dusk Noir. So much slow down. My Pokemon are all too big for this fight. Well, Crunch be able to one shot. Oh yeah. I forgot even to use an next attack in this fight.
Oh, that's gonna be a bit different because it might. Yeah. Yep, all you want. It's not going to do you any favors. See? It could have been my Pokemon. I could have had a Bayonet. Oh darn, I've gone and lost. There's definitely a bond between you and your Pokemon too. I didn't recognize that fact, so it's only natural that I lost. Yep, I'd like to see how far your bond will carry you. Go ahead, move on to the next room. Next one up is Ice. Um, now, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure when Gyarados changes Mega Form, it becomes Dark. Um, and I know this one's got Galili, but I can't remember if Galili has Levitate or not. But you know, I'm gonna stick with Gyarados. Alright, Todoroki. Oh, I should like would slide in this ice. That would make it a lot cooler. Welcome. My name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I've travelled from afar to Hoenn so I may hone my ice type moves. But all I have seen are challenges by weak trainers and their Pokemon. I wonder what you will show me. What a relief that I, it would be if I could, for once, have a serious battle against an opponent. Versus Glacia. Yeah, I can't remember if it says Levity or not. So I don't know if Earthquake would be the best choice here. That's fine, that's fine. It'd be not very effective, right? Yeah. I'm surprised it's not trying to use something like, I don't know. Blizzard. I mean, he just keeps down crunch. I am okay with that. Uh, 
I'll use one more exit tap, and that should be fine. I mean, that's just, this feels unfair, really, to be honest. I was worried that I was going to be, like, totally outclassed, but so far, it doesn't seem too bad. Right, you don't float, so... I could have had this Pokemon as well. Mm, um, I thought... Ah, well, never mind. Clearly I am misremembering my type matchups. You and your Pokemon have hot your spirits burn. You and your Pokemon have fiercely your you already said that. My icy moves pale in the face of such all consuming flames. Advance to the next room. There you will learn how fearsome the Pokemon League can truly be. Um now Mega Gyarados is probably another good choice for the next one, but I'm gonna swap it up a bit and bring Harry, because Harry's not going to be much use um, against the champion. And I kind of want him to get a bit of use, so... How can there be like a frozen room here and then just lava over here? Seems really dangerous. I am the last of the Pokemon League's Elite Four, Drake the Dragon Master. In their natural state, Pokemon are wild living things. They are free. At times they hinder us, at times they help us. For us to battle alongside Pokemon as partners, do you know what it takes? Do you know what is needed? If you don't, you will never prevail over me! Elite Four's Drake. This might be a poor choice to set up on. Uh, let's find out. Yep. I'll see how much damage this does. We get about 60, so...
No, it's just um, up my defense, isn't it? I mean, I've got plenty of items, right? I probably have bought too many items. Maybe in this log should be itemless. Oh, I didn't kill it. Did you just put me to sleep? You gotta use a full restore now, don't you? Let's wake up, Harry. Oh, flamethrower. Damn. Not do that, please. Okay, I think maybe X items are a little bit broken. That or apparently, um, Vileplume is just amazing. Oh no, this could be tough. Good thing I used that X defense. Superb, it should be said. You deserve every credit for coming this far as a Pokemon trainer. You do seem to know what is needed. Yes, what is ne a trainer needs is a true and virtuous heart. It is through their contact with trainers that Pokemon learn right from wrong. The influence of their trainer's good hearts help them grow strong. Go, go onward, the champion is waiting. And I'd be foolish to use the other two on a steel type. So. Oh, this is a cool room. I guess it does kind of get like the, the steel idea across. They have to like remodel these every time someone changes. That seems like very drastic. Welcome, Tropicana. I was hoping I would get to see you make it here one day. Tell me, what have you seen on your journey with your Pokemon? What have you felt meeting so many other trainers out there? Traveling this rich land of Hoenn, has it awoken something inside of you? I want you to come at me with all that you've learned. My Pokemon and I will respond in turn with all that we know. Let it begin! versus the Pokemon League Champion.
Right. Yeah, that's right. Toss it probably end up doing quite a bit, but I can just sort of restore that soon. Not an X attack. up as well. Oh, no. Not X speed should be fine. Rid. Oh, please animation again. I guess because it's the champion fight. That's fair. I can't remember what Mold Breaker does. I don't know what you, I thought you didn't think you were low enough for that. to use full restore. Oh, that's going to be super effective. I'm not flying type anymore. And that's just rude. I 
I don't think that thing's a steel type, is it? It's rock grass. Why are you here? You don't belong here. Get away. I guess it's just meant to be like, oh, I have a fascination with rocks and I found all these fossils. Here we go, the real challenge now. Oh. Okay, well, my defense is pretty good, so... And even though it's floating, it doesn't seem to affect that. Whew. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon X item me. So I, the champion, fall in defeat. Just as I've come to expect. Tropicana, you truly are an excellent Pokemon trainer. Congratulations to you, and thank you. I had wanted to learn how you feel about this world, what kind of ideals you have developed with your Pokemon. I feel I was able to find the answer in our battle. The feeling you have for your Pokemon, and the way your Pokemon give their all in battle in response to those feelings, those two together create a great power, that is how you see its victory today. I felt a thrill of excitement in my breast when we first met, and now I know for sure that feeling was not misplaced. You are rightfully the Hoenn region's new... How, how did you get in here? Before you go to challenge the champion, I've got one last thing you've got to... Tropicana, you didn't. No, you couldn't have. Did you already beat the champion? See, what did I say, Brendan? Didn't I tell you Tropicana would be just fine? Tropicana, you've finally done it. When I heard that you defeated your own father, Pedalbrook Jim, I thought perhaps you had a chance. But to think you've actually become the champion. But well, congratulations on today's victory. Now go out in there with your head held high. Tropicana? No, I should call you the Horn Region's new Pokemon League champion. Come with me, champion. I'm very sorry, but only a trainer who has successfully become the, the champion may go beyond this point. You need to wait outside with the professor. What? Can't be helped, I guess. Them's the rules, right? That's awesome, Tropicana. Congratulations. Really? This room, this is where we maintain the records of Pokemon that prevailed the harshest battles. It is the, here the League's champions are honoured. Come, with, we will use this machine to record your name and the names of their partners who battle along with you to triumph in the Pokemon League. I guess it's great to see whoever's Pokeballs in front of our face. That's really nice. What was that been like in the Master Ball or something? I don't get to see that, do you? The Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Gohan. Congratulations, Wally. C congratulations, Tentarafu. Congratulations, Burkhart. Congratulations, Harry. Congratulations, Gucci. Um, congratulations to. So, I mean, like these these three didn't really do anything. Never were, but you know what? They were in the team just because. Well, I need to make up the numbers in case I need another human sacrifice. Well, Pokemon sacrifice, I guess.
Welcome back, Tropicana. I just, uh, you know. We set on this journey together, right? So maybe we should finish it together, too. D don't go trying to read anything into it, though. Oh my god, I'll get away, you weirdo. Now, come on, we're going home. Back to Little Rutan. Here we are, the end credit. Oh, bicycle scenes. Um, so yeah, the ending for Pokemon Omega Ruby. Um, it's interesting coming back to this game. Um, so I got Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS um, when it first came out. Um, pretty much played it, and then like never really sort of replayed. It, I just sort of did the post game. Um, It's interesting. Um, a lot of people seem to have the idea that Pokemon games have gotten easier as they go on. Maybe not easier. Well, yes, easier. I mean, I guess the experience share would make this a lot easier. But it's an optional thing. You can turn it off if you want, play old style, have it on, level up. It means it'd be a lot less grinding. That's fair. It'd be interesting to see actually how playing with the experience share on the whole time would change the difficulty of this. This one, I think, like a lot of complaints I hear about, say for example, Pokemon Sun and Moon, is just about how linear um, it is as an adventure. But this is super linear as well, like this one. Like, yeah, there's a few extra areas. Like, oh, you could go to, um, like, the desert if you want, but, like, it's not like there's sort of any... Where else you can go there? Like with Gen 1, um, you could battle, after like Lieutenant Surge pretty much, you could battle um, any gym leader, any sort of order you wanted roughly. Like you could go do Erika, or you could do Koga before then if you wanted. Um, or you could do Sabrina before you did Koga. Um, or you could do Koga and then go do Blaine and then go do Erika. Um, like there's a lot more freedom of movement there. But this one didn't really have that. Even Gen 2 sort of had that. Like, once you beat um, Ek Critique. Oh, it's actually not used to Pokemon that I used. Oh, that's good. Um, once you beat Ek Critique City, you can either go to Cyanwood or you can go to Mahogany and the Lake of Rage and do the Red Gyarados thing. Um, did, oh, did I have Nkara on my group during that scene? That's odd. I get. Oh, well, not odd, I guess, but fair enough. I wonder then, what would happen if you did like a randomizer and I had like a grout on for half these scenes? Would that? Hmm. That's interesting. But yeah, um. You know, I feel like this one was super linear too. Um. It wasn't. I guess super handholdy, but there were plenty of parts where Brendan heals you, and I don't know if he does that in the original. Like, does he heal you up constantly in that one too? I feel like he might do, but it's been a long time since I played it. It's a nice view. Oh, look, there's Soul Rock. Oh, share. Now, this was a, this was a fun as look. Um, like, there's still more to the game than just this. Um, ah, yeah, I was wondering, I, I wasn't paying proper attention, if they gave the gym leaders, like, full 3D models, but no, alas, they had not. Um, they just get little, little pictures, I guess. Hoenn as a region is nice, um, but I feel there's also a lot of redundancy in some ways. Like, um, there's 
The time that's on the water that I never went to this playthrough. Because why would I? Right? Like, you could explore down there, but by the time you can explore down there, trainers, Pokemon, if there's any dad there, probably... Like, you'd probably end up doing the stopless stuff before then, and at that point the trainers are just a lot weaker than you, so there's no challenge there. So you would just... breeze through it, get some extra experience. Wee. It's like the areas, like, you can go back and surf, um... Uh, around Jewford, uh, which I did off-screen when I was grinding. Um, and I think that's where Reggie Ice is. But you're also just sort of like, oh... There's nothing really else here. And the trainer's levels there are designed to be fought like when you first get surf, but if you first got surfing and went there, you wouldn't really gain anything from it. In fact, it would be like just taking the long way around. And you would get some extra experience, I guess, for your Pokemon, which is fine. Having jumped from Leaf Green to this on my playthroughs on here. Oh yeah, that fight. Oof. Um, there's definitely a nice aspect of Pokemon being in 3D. The models are really nice as well. Um, part of me does sometimes miss the sprite work, but there was plenty to go on here. Oh, Harry. Like, you know what? Vileplume really did pull its weight. I'm surprised by that. I never really properly used the vial plume, but you know what? It's pretty good. I guess I didn't really have a Mega then. I wonder. Well, it's shown Mega Gyarados then, with the champion. I think the Hoenn games have. Yeah, well, oof. <laughs> There's like mm, too much going on in that frame right there. Can't even see the picture. Um, no, they definitely got some of the best soundtracks, and I really enjoy playing through this again. Um, it's a pity I've got no way to sh um, record X and Y. Um, so that would be good. I would like to play through them again at some point and relive that experience and see what that's like um, a while on and not just living in the hype of the moment at the first 3D ones because I've never actually replayed X and Y. Something that I was a bit sad that was missing from this one um, was the ability to customise your character. Like I'm glad that they brought it back in Sun and Moon and um, Let's Go Pikachu EB but no, I mean these are fun games, um, but they're definitely not hard. Like even though I lost, I mean I say that look at the Pokemon I lost, but and then again look at the Pokemon I lost, and I still managed to finish it. So, man, this is nostalgic. Back on Route One Hundred Three, huh? Remember that pond over there? This is where we battled for the first time, huh? Hey Tropicana, do me a favour. Come on, let's battle one more time. I want to know about what you saw in your journey, how you felt, and what you experienced out there. I want to know all about you and your Pokemon Tropicana. But that's not all. I want you to know all about me and mine. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Brendan. Pokemon Trainer Brendan sent out Swallow. Go Gohan! This feels only level 48. Yeah, 
he doesn't even get the special like oh, I'm gonna use the bracelet cutscene like Steven did. Me, this was not a good idea for you. I'm confused to how the game, I guess it's like a fun thing, but like I've just massacred this guy. Like if my Pokemon were at a level where this would be challenging, like I, don't, I feel like the champion fight would have been too hard. Why can't he just be like level 50, 55 as well? Also, how to get into the champion's room without being able to battle Elite Four? Like, you definitely would not have beaten Elite Four with this team. See, this one's at least got some potential to it. See, I don't know what's going to happen now. We're going to be shocked by the fact that he's got a bracelet, even though it was like clearly focused upon. And he's going to Mega Evolve into Mega Sceptile, except it's going to make it a Dragon type as well. Oh, but it's using Leaf Blade, so. Oh, wow, I avoided the attack. You got slightly lucky there, Brendan. Only slightly, though. Thanks, Tropicana. Just what I'd expect from a champion. Getting to meet so many different people. And so many different Pokemon. It's like, I don't know. It's been really, really fun. Oh! Tropicana, look there! It's a nice note to end on. Well, with that guys, we'll wrap up here. Who knows what will go on next. Till then, keep catching.